likes to milk with me, our dog shed, but he scares the goats, so he knows the routine. This is where he goes whenever I milk. Where's your, where's your spot? There you go. Good boy. You like to watch from here. He's just so funny to me that he so badly wants to be a part of what's going on that he will go in the feed room every morning and just lay there so that the goats don't get freaked out. Oh. How's Norma Jean? Norma Jean, are you so fat as can be? I was slightly concerned yesterday because Norma Jean's rumen was so high and huge, she looked slightly like she had bloat. She wasn't acting like she had bloat, so I um, checked on her last night just to make sure she was okay and she seemed fine. And then of course this morning she looks totally normal, which I'm really thankful for. Looking good. So if you remember, I had been considering selling Monica because she was so finicky and such a pain about things, but I said I was gonna give her, you know, some time, more time to settle in here. She's made a total turnaround. Her milk supply has gone up. She eats whatever I give her. She is a great milker and she's a good mom. So <clears throat> for now she's staying. Of course, unless I find my dream Nubians, then we'll be switching to Nubians, but she's staying. And I think the issue was that she was really wormy when she came to us, um, all the goats were, which I find is pretty typical when I buy goats. I know I'm gonna have to do a lot of work to get them healthy. So anyway, all of my efforts for her health, I think have really improved how she feels. She's doing just so well and I'm so thankful. Yeah, you're gonna learn neck scratches are awesome and chin scratches. You want some too, huh? You are so friendly. You're such a friendly goat, Mr. Sweetie. Baby goat loving is the best. Baby goat loving is the best. Then there's Hardy. Hardy does not care. That would be our weather in there, the white weather with the horns. But Sweetie and Moonlight likes some loving. Oh, now, you're like, now I know you'll rub my belly because your hands don't have to be so clean. All right. <laughs> Good morning. Do you want some milk? Okay, I'll get you a glass of milk. <laughs> You may notice I just used one leash on my goats and I did this one day because I couldn't find a second leash and I actually realized that it was a lot easier because then they're not wrapping around my legs and getting their leashes tangled up. Yeah, so I recommend that. Hey, this log has been in the creek underwater since we moved here for, it's probably been here for 10 years or more and it's solid. We took the morning off mostly this morning because our church starts back tomorrow. And you know, for the last few months we've had the whole day off on Sunday to just rest. And we love church, but it, I wouldn't call it restful. Okay, come here. This is the throttle and this controls how much gas it gets. And you can see it's pulling a little cable. Okay. 
Go ahead and squeeze this handle and then use your thumb. Squeeze this just with these and put, use your thumb to push all the way up to start and then let go. So, all right, it's off now. All the way up and then oh, let go of the others. Have to. Hmm. We pretty much gave up on getting anything done today. We did, I did weed eat a little bit. We took care of our animals. We didn't really do anything else. We cleaned the camper. We cleaned the camper again. <laughs> Cooked a few meals, and that's it. Sometimes you just. It's better to just go ahead and say, okay, we're gonna take a break than it is to keep trying to get stuff done when you're tired and burned out, stressed out. So we're going down to the river. I've made a commitment to my kids to spend a significant number of afternoons on the river or pieces of afternoons. I mean, it's not like we're spending the day out. It's five o'clock right now. We're going out for a couple hours and I think everyone's pretty excited. It's one of their favorite things to do. Then we're gonna float a section of river. The boys and I are gonna float a section of river. We're gonna meet the girls at the bottom. We're gonna do about two and a half miles. Me and Grace are going to I'm super excited. They actually have to hike down to the river from up here. So, it's like a double adventure. Me and the girls and Wilder are going to go swim down where they are gonna meet us. And I'm actually a little nervous about this. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but. But it's only me and Grace and Wilder and Ashley. That's not what I'm nervous about. I'm nervous about Daddy taking my boys down the river. What do you find, Joy? What smells so good? Honeysuckle. You can eat the whole, whole flower. But the best part, you take up off the bottom and you pull out this little line and it's like honey. If he goes slower, more will come out. Do you want me to carry him? Just bring not, him just bring him over here. He's not letting me. Arthur will be coming from this way. I'm hoping it's only gonna take about 45 minutes, but we don't really know how many curves there are and who knows how long the river actually is from way up there to down here. He did look at it on a map, so I think Arthur has an idea that it'll be under an hour. Hey, wait for mommy. We're skipping this big rapid right down here because it's a little too big to run with these boys, I feel like. Ugh. All right guys, I'm here. I parked them down right here while I went back up and got the boat. So we're gonna fill it up here in this sandy spot. We've still got a rapid here to hit. We're gonna take the right side of it. It's actually pretty easy. We'll just stay right on this right, come around these rocks here and then slip around there and stay out of this big stuff in the middle right here. Let's get this boat filled up. Okay, you ready to go? All right, we're gonna put the camera away in a bag. We're gonna load up and we're gonna push off. Are you ready for an adventure? Yeah. All right, me too. Guys, we'll see you in just a little bit. I look for rocks at the river like I look for shells at the beach. I like these orange ones the best, but Arthur thinks that they're old bricks, and I think he's probably right.
All right, I'm taking a break for the boys to um, practice swimming their life vests, which they've swam in before, but they might need to, honestly. Look at all this water we got in here. There's a, just a ton of water. We're gonna dump all that out now. <laughs> All that water is just from running through little rapids and getting just sloshed with water. We almost tipped one time, but we didn't. And we're gonna be on our way. We got probably another mile to go at least. Ooh, goody. So we all, all we, we, so we went about a mile and a half. We may be halfway. I'm not sure yet. We should jump in and go though. This river is just rolling along, so we're moving pretty fast. All right, come on, get in the boat. Mm -hmm. All right, paddle on this side, Justice. Turn us around. Yep, there you go. Yes, we're going for some lessons again. This has been beautiful. It's been pretty rough, though. Nothing that would impress, like, a whitewater kayaker. But in this little boat, we're just, like, bouncing through it and trying to keep straight, trying to head into all of them. I felt pretty good about it, and we've hit a couple rocks and kind of bounced around them. It's been super fun, though. You can see all the dead hemlocks along the banks. This section of river is, there's no road along it. So, like, you can see one house up there, but there's no houses or roads along the river. So, it's really, really pretty and uh, kind of remote feeling. People have their little camps along the river. We've seen two or three groups that have come down there's farms and stuff way up on these hilltops they've come down to the river yeah i know there's two houses up there actually crazy crazy views oh, here, comes a, here, comes a big bumpy here comes some bumpy water time to put the camera up are you guys having fun yeah you said it's one of the best days you've had yeah. something like that all right oh, let's roll here comes the white water we better put the camera in a plastic bag really fast, really fast. Don't throw my rocks though, okay? When I find these old pieces of river glass, I find them often, um, or those bricks, I just like to think about, or I don't even try, but just, no, 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 those are my rocks, thank you. Those are mommies, I found them. Can you please throw your own rocks? I, I like to think about the last person that maybe touched that rock or that brick, or not the brick or the, um, the river glass, and I always get like a little story going in my head. It's often tra a tragic story. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not a very tragic person. Mom, I got Paw Patrol. Good. Oh, for glasses. Help, help. That took pretty much exactly an hour. So Arthur was spot on with his predictions from looking at the map. I can't wait to see how excited the boys are. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> All right, here's the takeout coming up. We got one more little rapid to run. Look, there's Mama, she's waving. She's way down there. She sees us. It's hard to see her though because the sun's on the water. Hi! There's Grace waving. All right, Justice, I'm gonna let you paddle us through this one. I'm not gonna paddle at all. You're in charge. You got it. We're going it backwards. You got it, dude. You think he should be in charge? Oh, 
giant lantern. <coughs> oh my goodness, were you scared? No. Were you excited? Wait, hold on, come here. Were you excited or scared? Yeah, joyful. Enjoy. <laughs> up, almost, almost filled up with water. <laughs> Thank you. Did it feel like an adventure? Yeah, it was an adventure. It was awesome. Did y'all almost wreck or flip or anything fun? We could have flipped easily, yeah. Were the rapids harder than you thought, perhaps? Yeah. But they weren't hard. You just I knew. Right through. I knew they would be because it's so narrow. Yes, right the narrow section. Yeah. That's why I wanted to do that section though. How was your time, Brianna? I actually swam a little bit, played with the baby, and I read my book. I made the kid, the girls watch the baby, so I could read for ten minutes. It was nice. It took you about an hour, right? What time did you get into the water? Yeah, we guessed that you got in right, like probably right at six after hiking down. It was pretty awesome. And Justice at one point said, this is the best day ever. <laughs> they got a huge kick out. We were, we were going through these rapids that are just like rolling waves, you know what I mean? Big yeah. rolling waves yeah. and just slamming down through them and we got soaked. I had this like vision of like him, this like changing the course of his life and him like, you know, becoming even more of an adventurer than he already is. Yeah. This is like his first really big adventure. I mean, he's had a couple adventures, but this is definitely the biggest one. It was super fun. I'm happy you did this. Show me, girl. What kind of fish is it? Oh, no, interesting. I don't even know what kind of fish that is. Can I hold it? I want to hold it. On the spur of the moment, because we had so much fun, I'm sending the girls down the river in the boat, all three of them, and we're going to pick them up. Probably not quite as far, and it won't be as rough water, but I know you all will still have fun. Come on, Joyful, if you're coming. See ya! You're going the wrong way! <laughs> Bye! Water's so fun! Dad, watch! You can't wear that in the water. That blanket's for the shore. Alright, we're, we're packing up. We're packing up to go to go down and find a spot to pick up the girls down here. They're paddling the river at 7.30 at night. It's bedtime. What are we doing? Crazy. Having too much fun. Okay. Have we turned you guys into river rats yet? Yep. We're working on it. Hey, Dad. That's what I told these guys. Just a second. That's what I told these guys. I said, guys, let's be river rats this summer. In an hour, two hours in an afternoon or an evening after we've done some work, we can just come right down to the river. It's not very far. Guys, keep your eyes open for them in their, that little kayak because we don't have a set meeting spot, so we're just going to pass them and then find a place. This section is on the rip on the road all the way. So. Bree won't come on these bridges. She just won't do it. And I honestly don't blame her. It's like 30 feet above the water. Let's go, Justice. All right, we found a spot just on the side of the road uh, where we can wait for him. And we waited about five minutes and we see him. They're way up river. Floating down to us. Welcome! The little one. No, not that one. Only like 10 minutes. Any big rapids? Yeah. Was that worth $90? Oh, yeah. Was that worth $90? What I got for your garden. We'll link it below. Ow! He Why loves that on my feet! Alright, get out, big man. I want a bottle. What? I want a bottle. Oh, I'm just gonna make the bottle. Hey, y'all. That was the best thing I've done in forever. I'm glad. <laughs> it was so fun. It has been an incredible day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.
Bye. I don't even know if your head's in that shot. It was a wonder. Probably not. You gotta watch. Keep it about like that. Oh, I didn't touch it. <laughs> it's been another bright day on the homestead. Bye.